Hey guys, hopefully this is be a good informative video for you for when you rent an ice skating rink. So just wanted to go over some things. We could get lots of calls as to what to expect. So we're gonna cover a lot here in this video, so stay with me. So what you're seeing now is a 2,000 square foot ice rink. When you order your ice rink, we're gonna have it either in increments of 1,000 or up to 4,000. So on display here, we're talking about a 2,000. We do have the integral walls. A lot of people ask us about advertising or if they can put anything on the walls. So these walls are plexiglass and you can put clings onto the wall. Now if you decide that you're going to put any clings on these walls, it's going to be up to you to put them on and to take them off. Okay? So what you do see too here are we do have up lights that are, I'm sorry, <laughs> rope lights that we can put around the rink. Just gives it a little bit extra pizzazz. Talk to your sales associate if you'd like to see if we have any rope lights available for you to put around your rink. So I'm going to take off my shoes here. I'm not going to step on the rink with my shoes, but here I'm on my socks and you can see we can go and slide. It is slick. If you are actually having your event, everyone needs to have their skates on. I am only on here with my socks because no one else is on this rink and I'm not in danger of a blade coming over my foot. That's a lot of questions that we receive, you know, can mom or dad just go out with their socks on while the other one's skating? Ouch, that blade would hurt. Keep everyone uniformed. Have them in their skates if they're on the rink or if you wanna just have a uh, two hour block where everyone's in their socks, you can do that too. Of course, that would be uh, indoors, be a little chilly outdoors, we would be just in our socks. Um, as far as the rink goes, I'm gonna reach down here. Nothing is on my hands. It's nice, clear, clean. Uh, sometimes you will see other rinks that will put an oily glycerin on top of them, and that's no good for when people fall down. Notice I say when, not if they fall down. Um, you don't want that on their, their clothes. So this rink is nice, smooth to the touch. Actually, it's impregnated with a chemical through the panel that when they skate on it, it'll keep it slick as well. You might ask, what if this is outdoors and it's snowing and it's raining and you're maintaining your ice rink? Very easy. You could have a push broom and push it all off. Um, there's not really any other maintenance to do on that, just to make sure that you push it all off to the side and they can actually skate. When we come to set up your rink, we're gonna be looking for a nice flat level area. Please make sure that you have that area blocked off and we can pull our truck right up and start to unload and be right there. When we set the rink up, we will have either carpet or foam underneath it. In this case, we put carpet Underneath, we set up our panels, and these panels are kind of a tongue and groove. So when they come in, we piece them together, put pegs through them, and kind of build the, the rink that way. But you'll see I'm stepping off of the rink, and I'm stepping into a nice area that has rubber all over it. When your patrons put on their skates, they need to either keep their skates on the ice or on the rubber, one of the two. We don't want them stepping off onto the cement, onto any grass, anything like that, because that will dull the blades quickly. So either on the rink or on the rubber mats. Now, included in your ice rink will be the panels, what we put underneath it, and these rubber mats. We do have, if you'd like the benches that go around your rink, ask your sales associate about that, and we most definitely can get that for you. When you're running your own rink, you want to think about a couple different positions to run this if you have volunteers. The first position is what I'm going to call the ice marshal. The ice marshal is someone that doesn't have to be a pro skater, but comfortable enough to get out onto the rink. They're going to make sure that they keep everyone going the same direction as they're skating. They're also going to be able to help little ones when they fall up or if mom or dad has their hands busy with a toddler and there's another child that's wanting to skate they're going to be the friendly face that comes and helps that other child skate around the rink so that's the first position the ice marshal whoever you have doing that job i suggest you at least have two so they can take turns 
a lot of times skating for four, five, six, seven, eight hours at a time for one person is quite a lot for a single ice marshal. So make sure that you have a couple people willing to take turns with that position. The next person is going to be the skate up area. The skate up area is going to help people put their shoes on, their skates, take their skates off if need be, making sure that this area is clean and those skates are returned to the rental shop. Okay, the other important position for the person that's doing this job is kind of acting like a police officer. We want to make sure we are seeing who's getting ready to step onto this ice. So, A, could they be intoxicated? Obviously, we wouldn't want anyone that would be intoxicated out onto the rink. The second thing is looking to see if maybe mom or dad might have a newborn in their hand and a toddler. We wouldn't want uh, a child being carried and I, on the ice skate as well. So just kind of take a look and see who's getting ready to be onto this rink. Then let's go over and take a look at the skate shop. So depending on what you ordered, again, this is a 2,000 square foot rink. So we have four different cases set up. If you've ordered a thousand square feet, then you're gonna get two cases of uh, the skates. The skates are gonna range anywhere from toddler up to Bigfoot. <laughs> so we have lots of different sizes available for you. In the evening time, you can take these and put them up together and then close them off. Let's take a look at some of the skates. People ask if these are real ice skates. Yes, they're real ice skates, real blades. You don't want to touch them. If your clients also have their own ice skates and they wanna bring them, you could go ahead and let them, that's fine. Couple nice things about our skates. You can see that we do use the buckle system. So it's very easy to twist, unlock, and get the kids in and out of these as fast as you can, okay? So that alleviates the, the shoestrings and putting them through the eyelets and tying them or they coming undone and getting underneath the blades. So very nice for the buckle system. So this area right here is called the skate shop. You'll wanna have one to two people in this skate shop area. The position here is they are welcoming, they're asking them their shoe size. This might also be the time that you're gonna have waivers or wristbands that they'll put those on. So once they come in, we get them situated with their shoes. That's where the skate shop, they go over to the skate up area, again, where they're greeted by another volunteer and then out onto the rink with the skate marshal. What are some of the things that you might have here in the skate shop? I like to have several first aid kits. You're going to go through band-aids. Little ones are gonna to touch those blades. So you'll have band-aids. I also like to have plenty of baby wipes, paper towels. I also like to have Lysol for the shoes to um, spray those out. And then something that you may not think about are socks. <laughs> I like to have extra socks as well that you can either sew those or give them away, um, whatever as need be. If you don't wanna go with the socks, you can do the uh, pantyhose that are on the um, Amazon. You can get them like when you're going to the shoe store and trying in there, just the real thin pantyhose. Um, that is about all I can think of. Make sure that if you have any questions, feel free to call your sales associate. Thanks. Let's show them how to get up off the ice if someone falls. Correct. Okay. You want me to show them? Sure. Okay. <laughs> So when uh, people are skating, they're going to definitely fall. When they fall, uh, we need to address how to properly get up to keep yourself safe. Okay, so one is get on your hands and knees first, and then take your hands off the ice. That's the most important thing. Take your hands off the ice as soon as you can, just staying on your knees. If you want to use the wall to get up, these are sturdy walls, you can certainly do that and get up that way. If you're in the middle of the ice and you fall, and you're in this position, get back to your hands and knees, and then take your hands off the ice as soon as possible. 
The problem that happens is you keep your hands on the ice and then, well, somebody else could skate over them or more likely you'll skate over it yourself when you're trying to get up and you come across your own hand because you're trying to get up and you slip and it goes right across your pinky. So again, as soon as you get to your hands and your knees, get your hands off the ice. If you're in the middle of the ice, bring one leg up, put your hands on your knee and then bring yourself the rest of the way up. And or ask for our skate marshal to give, a, uh, give you assistance. But the biggest thing is get your hands off the ice as soon as you can. All right, guys. Hope you have a great time running your ice rink. Make sure if you want to do any of the rope lights, uh, we also have snow globes and up lights as well. Really adds to the feature. Don't forget your concessions. That's a very important uh, part of the ice rink experience as well. Hot chocolate is always good. Give us a call if you guys need anything. And that telephone number is 1-844-SKATE-NOW. That's S-K-A-T-E-N-O-W. See you later.